In the last few years, our ability to explore the universe in radio light and to see things in radio telescopes has actually increased quite dramatically. Over the years, allowing the scientists to discover a lot of really incredible things, with some of these things being unexplained even today. Hello, wonderful person. Today we're going to be talking about another exploration of our universe in radio waves and a new exciting radio survey known as the Evolutionary Map of the Universe, EMU which was recently done by the scientists in Australia and also named after one of the Australian birds, emu. Anyway, so this particular survey discovered a lot of incredible objects, and some of them, such as these ghostly formations visible in this image, are still kind of difficult to explain, but the scientists do provide the explanation for at least some of them. And so let's discuss this in a little bit more detail, look at some of the discoveries, and also compare this to some of the previous discoveries in the last few years. First of all, let's start right here. This is called Glimoscope, and this is another map created by some of the scientists from Australia. What Glimoscope allows you to do is actually see the galaxy, the Milky Way, in different types of light. Here's the X-ray version, here's the gamma ray version, the infrared, the microwave, and lastly, here's what the galaxy looks like in radio light, with some of the objects actually only visible in radio light. This large object you see right here, for example, that's Centaurus A, the largest radio galaxy next to us. But it more or less disappears if you look at it in infrared, and is barely noticeable in visible light. And so this map right here was used in various studies, and this was the most detailed map for many years. But then the scientists from Australia once again were able to release a completely new map. Something we've talked about in one of the previous videos, and something that is a little bit more detailed. Here the scientists were able to discover a lot of new objects. And some of the more important objects, like the black hole in the middle of our own galaxy, being visible in more detail if you actually click on it. And here is the Centaurus galaxy once again, but this time with a lot more resolution. This was only made publicly available last year, but even in the last uh, few months, a lot of new incredible radio discoveries were all made using the data from uh, this particular study. By the way, both links for both of these websites is in the description below. But the radio telescopes in Australia are constantly getting better and better, and are also producing more and more data. Which is of course why so many different radio discoveries have been made in the last few months, and more or less in the last few years. And so not so long ago, the scientists using the Australian Square Kilometer Array Pathfinder, also known as ASCAP Telescope, released an incredibly detailed radio data that they refer to as the evolutionary map of the universe. Now this is not the entire night skies, it's only about 270 square degrees, which to some extent can be visualized this way, it only covers a part of the night skies. But this part of the night skies has been seen with unprecedented detail, something we've never been able to do before. Uncovering some extremely dim objects with low surface brightness, and increasing the resolution of known objects by quite a lot. More importantly, it uncovered some objects that we've never seen before, with certain objects created by something that nobody can explain right now. Now we've already discussed one of these major discoveries, it's going to be in the video somewhere right there. Here we're talking about the objects known as orcs, or odd radio circles. There were quite a lot of them discovered so far, and even more discovered in one of the later studies, but even right now nobody can actually explain where they came from, or basically what created them. But they did come from this particular survey, and quite a lot of them were found in this tiny patch of night skies. But they were previously not visible to any of the other radio telescopes, simply because they were not accurate enough and did not really see some of the dimmer objects. But some of these images produced by this survey are really incredible. Like, what is this? What sort of a phenomenon can create this sort of a structure? Well, since this is radio waves we're looking at, and specifically here frequencies of 940 megahertz, we know that this is produced by the flow of electrons. But these are huge structures, these are absolutely enormous and require a lot of power, a lot of energy to produce this. And so in this particular case, the scientists think that they might have actually explained this. What they believe is happening in this particular image right here can be maybe explained by two supermassive black holes in the center of two different galaxies. And this is maybe produced by winds coming from both of these black holes in two different directions. And since this is really far away, approximately a billion light years away from us, the objects are enormous. But these two galaxies, these two radio galaxies, have been studied before. 
Although nobody expected that if you were to look at some of the dimmer objects here, you would actually discover this. This is really incredible. But the amazing thing about this survey and the website right here is that you can actually find all of these objects yourself. So here's how you would find these particular two galaxies with black holes and the image I just showed you. There's a search box right here. And if you were to type the name of this object, PKS2130-53, you would find out where it's located. Now, if I were to zoom in, I'll actually start seeing what all of this looks like. And so here it is in all of its glory. Something that nobody has ever seen before, but something that this particular survey uncovered. And if you actually move around here, you'll find quite a lot of these extremely large objects all over the place. The scientists in the study calculated the number of objects found, and they discovered that there's about 220,000 individual objects, with a lot of these objects never before seen. And there were quite a lot of surprises here. For example, in this image right here, you can see one of their major discoveries, a huge radio galaxy, one of the biggest ever found. Located next to a very well-known galaxy you see right here, known as IC5063, but right next to it, there was this mysterious flow of radio energy that represents an even larger, or actually one of the largest radio galaxies ever found, approximately 5 million light years in length, which is about 50 times bigger than the Milky Way galaxy, or about double the distance to the Andromeda galaxy. But when it comes to these radio galaxies, there are still quite a lot of unanswered questions. For example, the jet formation is still full of mysteries, the shape of these jets and why they are so tangled is also very difficult to explain, but more importantly, why certain galaxies produce such long jets and some don't. So the process itself is not very well understood. And some of the objects are extremely ambiguous. For example, this one right here, with what seems to be two different jets blowing in two different directions. But at the same time, there doesn't seem to be anything between them. So what exactly is creating this? Now, the scientists believe that maybe it's actually connected to the quasar that's known in this area, but they're not sure. They even think that maybe this is actually two entirely different objects at two entirely different places. So once again, a mystery that nobody really knows how to solve. And then there is this unusual galaxy with some sort of a double tail, or a jet that seems to be bent in an unusual way and then produces a lot of emissions that resemble different tails. But then some discoveries that look unusual potentially have a pretty good explanation. Here's one they refer to as the Smoking Gun Galaxy. And in this case, it consists of two radio clouds, cloud number one and cloud number two. And here, what the scientists believe very likely happened is that the radio jet just shut down a few million years ago. Or in this case, this is what probably happens when the radio galaxy shuts down and stops producing radio jets. Eventually, you just get these leftover radio clouds that stay in the area and slowly dissipate. But which galaxy produced this is not certain. The points A and B right here represent potential galaxies. They're not sure which one it came from. So quite a lot of different unusual, difficult to explain, but absolutely exciting discoveries and something I'm sure many scientists will be investigating and probably explaining in the next few years. But until then, or until we discover more, that's pretty much all I wanted to mention. You can check out the paper in the description below and possibly even go through some of these objects or maybe even discover some other unusual objects yourself by using this map that you can find also in the description below. On that note, I'm definitely looking forward to the explanation for some of these discoveries and we'll talk about them in some of the future videos. Until then, thank you for watching, subscribe if you still haven't, share this with someone who loves learning about space and sciences and maybe come back tomorrow to learn something else. Maybe support this channel on Patreon by joining the channel membership or by buying the wonderful person t-shirt you can find in the description. Either way, stay wonderful, I'll see you tomorrow, and as always, bye-bye.